as comprehensive a performance as you could probably hope for, um, while some of the more pleasing aspects of today's effort? Uh, I thought, you know, we, we got our pressure right generally. Uh, most of the game was at a high level. We out-tackled them by over 20. Um, we stopped them transitioning the ball generally. So when you, you know, we have, uh, you know, you hit the scoreboard, we had 12 different goal kickers, which was, which was really pleasing. But, you know, the, the pressure and our ability to be able to stop the opposition from going length of ground generally, we made it a couple of times we didn't quite get it right, but um, it was pretty good. You had very similar numbers inside 50s to watch, but 30 more goals. That's a really pleasing aspect of the game as well. Yeah, we got um, we got probably stuck a little bit there a couple of times in the in the second quarter with a couple of repeats, and so we spoke about that at half time. Um, um, but yeah, you know, there was a couple of things we needed to adjust, and uh, we got beaten in loose ball gets and a couple of different things. So there's always something to take out of the game, and you know the repeats, the um, loose ball gets will be will be going to work on that, and um, there's always something to get better at. Yeah, we generally. No, you know, over the last couple of, you know, the last few years, probably since I've been coaching, to be honest, we've probably, you know, we do, we do, you know, we do uh, focus on it. Uh, don't always get it right, but um, we knew that they were, they were really good in the pressure situation as well. Like Gold Coast were last week, these guys were pretty good and they put pressure on as well. So we needed to make sure we, we were right up and ready to go. And um, and so, the, you know, the, both teams at times were up around the one nines, one nine fives, and the pressure and was on and we just needed to make sure we kept hanging in there and applying it. And I thought a few times we, you know, we were able to, you know, get the ball and transition it, but we made a couple of mistakes and they got the ball, but then we were able to get it back again, you know, the second or third time on a turnover. It's sometimes you, we look at the first turnover, but, but just as importantly, the second or third, if you, if you lose it, it's no point just saying, oh, well, we've lost a turnover, it goes down the other end. There's still an opportunity to, to get it back again. And a few times we were able to do that. I guess, I guess you, know, you finished up with over 20 more tackles, and also <coughs> almost seven more disposals. And what does that say about the, you know, the work, the work rate, and the effort and felt as well? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, the longer the game went, the more we were using the uncontested marks, and we we're conscious we go into um, our six-day break this week against the Giants, and they've had another couple of days rest as well, and we wanted to continue to use the ball. We wanted. We wanted to make sure we, we did that the longer the game went and the players were terrific at, at doing that and they were able to understand the moment and sense that. And, um, but, you know, it's good when everyone everyone gets a part of it and, um, you know, that was pleasing. <clears throat> yeah, I think they did a pretty good job. You know, that's, um, uh, you know it was probably... A, we, I think we were able to put some pressure on, which meant there was a bit of dirty ball going in there, so it wasn't always lace out. So that gave them an opportunity, but they were moving first. And you know, one of the great things about modern day defenders, they move like forwards did probably 30 years ago. Um, they move first. And so when we were moving first, we were good. Um, we got stuck a little bit of times on the, on the exits, but um, generally they did a really good job. Oh, he's just had a terrible run with injuries, and um, we've generally, when he's got through those stages, um, we've we've played him when we, when we can because we know he can really help, and um, particularly when his anticipation is like it was today. So he's had some tough times, but um, you know his attention to detail, getting his body rights of a high level every week, and you know, we need to keep that being a real main focus for him. Yeah, he came in today uh, um, and I just had a quick chat with him before I came in here. I said, how'd you pull up? He said, pretty good. So that's a good sign. Um, you know, we'll sit down this week and, and see what we need to do. Um, you know, obviously the Giants are, are a red hot form. It's going to be a massive game at the SCG. You know, they're, um, <clears throat> they've, got some, they've got some big balls around the, around the footy. We've been able to have some flexibility, we think. We've been able to rotate plenty of numbers through there and... But the Giants will probably get a couple back this week as well. They'll get a couple of really gun players back in the mix. So, you know, we'll have to sit down and work it out. It'll be on, I reckon. And it's a, you know, it's a game that I'm sure Sydney are looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, you just... Um, 
you know, we've we've been able to we've had our three co captains from last year play I think a combined total of four games and that's ramps and that's been it for the year. So a bit of an evolution of the team that we're seeing now. It's sort of um it you know, we needed to not rely upon those guys all the time. You know, Callum's obviously a fair bit younger. But those guys have carried a fair load for the team for a long time and you know, and have been great players. So we've been able to add some more numbers to the to the mix and transition some players through like obviously obviously Isaac but McInerney's been important. Uh, Jordan, you know, you know, Adams today was able to, you know, the longer the game went, keep keep going and, and so we've been able to add some flex to the team, which has been important. I think it'll continue to be important. Yeah, just hold on a second, I mean, I know you've spoken about it a few times this year, but another probably close to the best of game for us, would you mean this is just how amazing what he's done in that midfield <coughs> Uh, yeah, he's he's been able to play midfield yet still hit the scoreboard, and and that was, you know, how do you replace a all Australian half forward if he goes in the midfield and um, and if he's still able to hit the scoreboard from the midfield, terrific. I mean, the thing that we've we've noticed, and you probably wouldn't wouldn't see it outside the club, but inside the club, he's you know, the the footage that we show is what he's doing for his teammates and defensively working so hard. I mean, he took another mark defensively today. You would have seen him go down and he's doing that stuff all the time. Just works so hard for his teammates and defensively and and that's what we're loving about him. You know, he's, he's able to play both sides of the ball plus being really hard and tough. So, you know, I hope he keeps going. Just, just this GWS question. I know you've had a few big um, derbies with him in the past, a few finals, but where does this one rank? You know, both teams in the top three, it's... Yeah, it's a big clash. Uh, you know, we have played finals with um, my old mate Leon uh, is sitting in the in the room. So we've had uh, we've had a couple of big clashes over the years. Leon, Leon's wound their boys up a few times and cleaned up a few of our blokes. But um, yeah, we've had some big games. I mean, the good thing is is that we we appreciate the role we've both got. Both clubs have got in the development of the game in in New South Wales, and you know, I think that's really important and. Um, but I think it's good for Sydney people to have a, you know, have a big game. But you know, it's impo- just as important. We've got to go out and do a job. You know, we can't just talk about the fact that it's going to be a big game. They've got a couple of days rest on us, and and we need to get prepared. You know, tomorrow the, it'll come on us pretty quickly. So we need to get back to Sydney tonight and get going. <clears throat> oh, it's a couple of days. You know, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they've sort of we'll be we'll be okay. But we need to make sure we get it all right and. Um, you know that's that's our challenge is is to is to make sure we get our recovery right this week and we won't be training a lot. But everyone's got those stages during their year. Every team, I mean, every team's gone through it, haven't they? You know, you talk about coaches; they, they talk about different stages of the game where you get a patch of six-day breaks or travel, and you just have to you have to deal with it. That's part of a great opportunity for us as a footy club to keep keep maturing and, and keep taking on those challenges. I haven't spoken to them, but I, I think they're okay because they're able to keep playing. So um, that's a good sign. But you know, I haven't spoken to them, but hopefully they're okay. Thanks. Guys. Thanks. Thanks.